heard your cry, Spookin' Nation. But too much of a good thing is bad for your health. So we're only doing this once a week. Buckle up, baby. It's time for ETN. Brought to you by Lloyd's Construction and Consulting. Providing first-class construction services on 1010XL. Uh, Dan Hicken, we've had many a dust-up with ETN judges through the years. Yes. We've said some... I, I, we've wished that damn near death and despair on a number of them. Yes. I got to be honest. Cruel, mean, really. Well earned much of the time and much deserved, but yes. that's a different story. We have to behave today? Uh, today, we, it's with the reverence and respect that we must honor the judge's decision. Oh, boy. Um, I have confidence and faith in him that he'll do the right thing here in about eight minutes. Willing to let it go to trial, if you will. <laughs> uh, yes, and I'd, what, what, but more than anything, if you could please show decorum after today's results are rendered, I don't want you sanctioned or... You know, in trouble in my county or, or anything like that. We bring in uh, Judge John Alexander from the circuit the court down there in, in St. Augustine. Oh, wow. 20, gosh, what, John, 25 years on the bench there? Close to it, right? 24 years. 24, 24 years, years. Ye, on the bench. Hear ye. I'm sure you've presided over much more important um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure. Cases than this one, but you this will never. One, judge. I mean, you'll never find two more contentious plaintiffs than Dan and myself. Some more important and some many more less important, I can tell you. Oh, well, look oh, at you. You're very, you, very nice. Friend of the program. Uh, uh, John has listened to us for years. We, we've sp- spoken at the St. John's County uh, Sports Club a number of times. But, you know, St. Augustine High School, University of Florida. What yes. are we going to do now, uh, Judge? Are you just going to, like, sit on the front porch and whittle? What are we doing? Well, I've got grandkids right now at the house oh. with me for another couple weeks, so I'm I'm busy. Uh, everything but changing diapers. Okay, so, well, uh, well, good. We're judge, glad I've, to hear it. judge, I've always wanted to do this, so bear with me, please. If, oh. oh no! And tell oh, me geez. if anyone has ever tried this in your courtroom. You're out of order. <laughs> You're out of order. The whole damn court is out of order. <laughs> Anybody ever oh, done that? that? Oh, that was one of the great movies with Al Pacino. You yes. know, I had a guy tell me one time, he said, Judge, if uh, what if I was to tell you you're a stupid old demented fool, what would you do? And I, I said, I'd find you in contempt. And he said, well, what if I only thought it? And I said, well, there's no thought police in America. And he said, well, may the record reflect, I, I just think you're a stupid old demented fool. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, that's, that's strategic. I'm not sure that worked. Uh, All right. Well, John, you know how this you know how this works, right? We sure. uh, beef is going to give us a topic, and I'll take Dan to school on it, and then you're going to render a, a judgment whose opinion you th- thought was um, more firm. There you go. Oh boy, I'm ready. All this, right. I'm playing the role of the pander. I'm not. I'm not comfortable. Hick, this is what you're supposed to. This is where Hick the, the instructions are. This winner, Dan. Oh, <laughs> I I'm, feel I'm, comfortable. <laughs> I'm just planning my. My closing argument for oh, the judge to oh, impress. Wow. I, didn't know we're wow. I like to was fashion this? myself sort of a trial attorney, Pross, and oh, I, gosh, I tend oh, to yeah. think that the judge goes, will be impressed John. with some of my verbiage I'm sure today. you do. I'm sure you do. Yeah. <laughs> I got to feel that he's like the Charlie Kelly of trial attorneys. Yes. Round one. Bird law. Uh, <laughs> round one. Uh, uh, round here one, we go. guys. The, uh, the, the, the search for... Uh, staff for Urban Meyer continues. Lots of rumors swirling. Do you think we'll uh, have coordinator names by the end of the week? And do you think it's heading in the direction that the rumors seem to suggest it is? Um, I got news for everyone in the co- – the what what'd you say? The staff search? Staff search. Yeah, the staff search was a rousing success on Friday when Urban Meyer was introduced. Uh, Urban Meyer is going to go pick a staff that works in conjunction with him, guys that he trusts, guys that he thinks are at the top of what they do. And so whether it's the end of this week or the middle of next, Urban Meyer will target who he wants. He will go get him. He'll work hand-in-hand with him. He said at the opening press conference how vitally important it is to have an elite staff, and that's what Urban is is going to put together. The the Listen, the, the, the big fish is the one you reeled in for head coach, and everything else will take care of itself. All right, that's pretty good. Pretty good answer. Uh, Judge. I really don't need it graded. um, Son, (laughs) we live in a world that has walls, and those walls have to be guarded by men with guns. Who's going to do it? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You weep for Santiago, and you curse the Marines. You have that luxury. You have the luxury, do not knowing what I know, that Santiago's death, while tragic, probably saved lives. And my existence, while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saves lives. 
Uh, well, since Dan didn't answer the question, and he's uh, huh? enrolled in um, old movies, uh, <laughs> Winter Jeff. What? <laughs> Round two. Was what? That's shit. You know, you're not dealing with Joe from the West Side, bro. That's what? not going to work. You're going to have to come with some knowledge. Some heat. Oh, that was good. <laughs> some heat. Tried something a little different. Coming up next, Dan will sing his answer for. <laughs> Can't sing right now. <laughs> Judge Alexander. Uh, right, here we go. Dan, like you said, it sort of snuck up on us, but yes. today is the uh, the Hall of Fame voting. I know you guys both uh, feel like number 71 deserves induction in Canton, uh, but you know, just polling the electorate on social media, it seems mixed on the prediction of whether uh, 2021 will finally be the year or will our guy Tony uh, once again sadly be a bridesmaid. I'm I'm pro Baselli. I'm not I, I'm I'm just hopeful. That's all I'm going to be. I'm going to be hopeful. Why not Tony? Why not now? Why not this year? We've knocked out so many of the offensive linemen. We need an offensive lineman. Why can't Baselli go in? Maybe just when you don't expect it, it happens. Maybe we've been beaten down so many times that this time we get surprised because we only have two slam dunks. Okay, there's only two: the sheriff Peyton Manning and Charles Woodson. So other than that, it's wide open. So for goodness sakes. Maybe it's time for Tony. Maybe, look, they knocked out offensive lineman in Hutch, knocked out another offensive lineman in Mawai. This year, it's Tony's time. we got to get an offensive lineman in there. Let's put in Big Bo. I, I Look, I get a little worried when the years pass and he doesn't garner the support because I think it's human nature to sit inside that room and say, well, look, last year he didn't meet our standards and the year before he didn't meet our standards and the year before he didn't. Now, that doesn't mean ultimately the, the pool of candidates shrinks and you emerge as one of the tops in that pool. I think that's next year. With those guys that you mentioned in addition to some others that are going to have very good arguments, next year's list of first-time candidates, first time eligibles is not strong. There is not a first time eligible next year who's going to guarantee walk in like Peyton Manning and and Woodson will this year. Silly hater. This is uh, uh you can't predict next year. Uh, this is the best year uh Baselli's had. So winner Dan. All right, I'm on the board. Round the 3. That's all I could ask. I object. <laughs> uh, somebody on the text sign says, Overruled. Jeff, I'm more worried about you getting detained if you lose. There's, oh, no. a, there's that. Don't tase wow. me, bro. Uh, <laughs> round three, despite the fans' uh, thoughts of having a protest rally yesterday in Houston uh, in honor of their quarterback, Deshaun Watson, that didn't happen, but still there seems to be a lot of uh, space between Watson and the honchos in Houston. Uh, they've lined up and had some head coach interviews. Do you think the Watson Texas relationship is still salvageable? I, you know, <laughs> yeah, I think it is. It's early and the emotions are always hot now. But the Texans have no one to blame but themselves on this, and not for not honoring what they said to Deshaun Watson, but for ever proposing it to begin with. Deshaun Watson is a lot of awesome things when it comes to fall. He's a great leader. He's an awesome kid, and he's a heck of a football player. But he's not a general manager, and he's, and he's not the owner who selects the coach. And I'm not going to say stay in your lane like that's some disrespectful a notion, but football has levels of expertise that lead ultimately to success. And there aren't any quarterbacks in the league who are also the general manager and choose the coaches. Now, that being said, Houston, amazingly and fantastically, decided that they will be interviewing Eric Bieniemy, and sooner rather than later, who is the, the choice of Deshaun Watson based on his conversations with Patrick Mahomes. Uh, Judge, point of clarification, please. Go right ahead. Am I allowed to plead the fifth on this one? You can always plead the fifth. Okay. I'm going to plead the fifth on this. Do you know what that means? 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 Plead the fifth. <laughs> I, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the judge. <laughs> I'm asking the judge if I can plead the fifth on this one. I don't know if yeah, this well, man's. Well, if you plead the, plead the fifth, winner, uh, winner, Jeff. Okay, I'll answer it then, judge. What? That's no, okay. I don't know if this man's competent to stand trial. I'm I'll gonna... go ahead and answer it. <laughs> we got to have to put some sort of act on you. Judge, am I still allowed to answer the question, sir? You may. You may. Thank you, judge. Uh, no, he's done. He's done in Houston. It's over. It's a different time and different time and place now with the with the professional athlete. And you better get used to it. It's what happens. We saw it right here with Jalen Ramsey, who by the way happens to have the same agent as Deshaun Watson. We saw it in the NBA with James Harden. If you want out, you get out. That's how it works. Otherwise, why would the Texans be talking to teams, which they are? It's it's over. He's not going to be a member of the Houston Texans come September. Uh, players telling the general manager how to run the 
management is uh, is, is something that can't be tolerated. The Texans, uh, uh, Jeff is right. The Texans have asked for this problem. And uh, if they wanted to resolve it, they should have traded him last week when he opened his mouth about it. Uh, winner, Jeff. Mm. Round four. Should have pleaded the fifth. Should have stayed with it. <laughs> Pled, I believe. Pled it. Oh, or pleaded. 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 Like yeah. pants? Is it pleading or plead, I, pleaded? I don't know if pled. I've always thought pled was a work. I don't think it is, though. Is it work. pled the fifth judge or pleading? Pleaded. Pleaded. <laughs> it can be used both ways. Okay, Thank good. You, there you go. Because I've said pled for a long time. Mm. Indubitably. Last time I pled, it was. I bet the judge has to sit there a lot of times up there on the on the bench, and probably right now thinking about that one of those terms you like to use, the idiocracy. I was a man. I was about to say the same thing. Just daydreaming. Like, listen, good lord, people. Listen our, to these at least idiots. our idi- somebody read a book. <laughs> our <laughs> our idiocracy comes through the filter of a sports radio show. Could you imagine if it was through the filter of really important things? Oh man. Oh boy. I'd be toasting the round car. four. Judge, judge is going to watch the grandkids and then work on the bunker a little later today. Mm. Uh, round four. Guys, uh, it seems to have uh, hit the fan in yes. Knoxville yesterday with uh, Jer- calls! Jeremy Pruitt being relieved of his duties after an internal investigation into improper benefits at Tennessee. Uh, they're obviously in search of a head coach, but at this stage, who can they and, and would they get? Well, Tennessee, <clears throat> with all due respect, uh, and excuse the language, is screwed. Uh, there's They can't get Hugh Freeze – who they should get because Hugh Freeze, you can't replace one cheater with another cheater in the Southeastern Conference. You just can't do it. They may try to do it, and there's complicity throughout the entire program. I mean, right up to the top with Phillip. I mean, and again, Tennessee fan, you have nothing to say because the Volunteers hired a guy named Shiano, and you screamed and cried and pounded the table, and you know what you got? You got this guy who's – Probably, without a doubt, one of the worst coaches in the history of the SEC. And now has been forced to lawyer up and try to fight for whatever pennies he can get on the dollar from his contract when he clearly, he and his program are rife with dirtiness. You know, you summed up uh, Tennessee's problems with, I think, one little bit of misspeaking. This guy's not even the worst coach Tennessee has employed in the last 20 years, and therein lies the, the even bigger problem. These guys have gone from one inadequate, coaches short, cotton collared shirt, whistle around, uh, trucker hat looking guy in a row. I mean, one after the other, and it's just a, an abomination. As to what do you do, you got to make a run at, you know, Napier from Louisiana. You got to make a run at the Coastal Carolina guy. You got to get a guy who has been successful because the, the, the best way to do it, you blew it, is to find a Shiano. Go find a guy who's been a successful coach, who's biding his time. You know, maybe search the Alabama assistance ranks again. Only this time, don't make the guy that don't take the guy who can't coach. Well, yesterday I heard Jeff Bronser say uh, that it's a big fallacy when you hire these assistant coaches to think that they're going to be an excellent head coach. But a Tennessee. Uh, um, had some stability when Jacksonville resident Doug Dickey was their athletic director. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and this is instability from the president, the athletic director up and down winter Dan. So we go to round five, round five. And lastly, round five, uh, look, the, uh, conference title games are still several days away. The lines have not moved since first being set. You've got, uh, KC laying three green Bay laying three and a half, I think you both think they'll be close games, competitive games. Vegas thinks, thinks so as well. But if you had to choose, which one of these games is more inclined to get sideways and become a very not competitive game? Oh, what would be the Chiefs at home? I, I don't think either one will. I, the Bucs, I, I feel, are going to beat Green Bay. I mean, they beat them 38-10 earlier this year, so I think that'll be a close game. They're not going to go into Green Bay and blow anyone out. I think that game uh, stays tight. I think Buffalo will hang with Kansas City. I'm not predicting a Kansas City blowout, but if you're going to give me the options of those two games and which team is going to separate uh, the most, I'd have to go with the defending Super Bowl champions who I think next week are going to come out looking to prove a, a point. You know, they, they blew a 19-3 lead to Cleveland, found themselves in a dicey situation. Obviously, they lost Patrick Mahomes. He'll be back. He'll be fully healthy. And if, if you know, if there's a game that could trend toward that blowout, uh, it would be that one. 
Beef, can you repeat the question, please, sir? The question is, of the two conference title games, yes. uh, Green Bay laying three and a half at home against Tampa or oh. KC laying three against Buffalo, which is more likely to not be as competitive as the Lions suggest? First off, Judge, let me thank you for taking the time uh, to be the judge of this. I received my summons uh, to appear in front of your jurisdiction yesterday. Well, with a, Are do you, you know reading I terms offline? Complaint with I think he's reading the court terms of this offline. legal case, Jeff Prosser. And wow. So here is my the deposition, catalyst. Judge, this is not uh, a- that I would like to answer. <sighs> the answer is clearly up there on the frozen tundra where you got a guy and Tom Brady has been to 14 conference championship games. And, oh, yeah, he's well, this will be his 14th, and he's already won nine of the previous 13. So to think anything but that it won't be. Tampa's been playing great football of late. They're scoring a lot of points, and their defense is coming. Uh, Green Bay is going to have their hands full. Judge, I'm making my pleading with you for a proper settlement, and hopefully you won't send me a subpoena. And do the right thing, Judge, if I may approach the bench and charge Prosser with a felony and give me victory. Uh, Judge, before you uh, – Thank you. What? What? Hold, i got to say what? something. It's not an answer. Uh, Relax. Can you tell him order? Uh, there is a favor from one of the Googans <laughs> out there. They would like you at one point to refer to both Dan and I as the two Utes. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. In, in, in deference to Utah football. Yeah, there yes, you go. Yes, thank uh, you, sir. There you go. Uh, Beef, can you give me the question one more time? Let me see who answered it and who just uh, pled on a motion. Uh, the question was, which of the two title games is more likely to not be as tight as the line suggests and end up a blowout? Dan says he thinks that the uh, Bucks could blow out Green Bay on the frozen tundra. Jeff likes the Chiefs possibly to blow out the Bills. I think uh, Green Bay is going to have a much harder time with uh, Tom Brady rolling in than uh, Kansas City we'll have with Buffalo. Uh, who knows, but uh, it's a tough one. This is a tough one right here. But winner, Jeff. Yes, sir. I, you just there there we Four go. deer! Miss trial! <laughs> Miss trial, Judge! There he goes. A little home uh, cooking four in the deer. Yeah, a little home cooking. Four deer! Four deer, he Objection! Said. He's screaming Move court to terms. Move to strike! Move He's to screaming strike! Screaming legal terms. <laughs> gentlemen, there is a term. The louder the argument, the weaker the case. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no! I'm I need to remember that one, Judge. In weeks Uh-oh. moving forward. Hey, we appreciate you some taking time. Thank you, Judge. But more importantly, hey, we appreciate your congratulations years, your years on all your service. service. Thank yeah. you, sir. All righty. All right, there he goes. That's a Judge. <laughs> That's some SJC home cooking. I think he just got admonished by the Judge. Now it's got to be home cooking. You know, I'm going to throw you in the brig here at oh, some no. point, Chief. Settle down. Hey, my man was going for deer, for deer. <laughs> <laughs>